In this tutorial, I will show you how to monitor a network device which supports SNMP based on the example of a network printer which supports SNMP. And what we'll monitor is we'll collect the toner level of all the installed cartridges and display that information in the reporting. The first step when we're monitoring a host is we want to add it to a group. In this case, we'll add it to the pre-existing heartbeat group. And we'll call this the color laser printer and of course that name wouldn't resolve to anything so we'll do a DNS so we're going to add the actual IP address here of that printer. We can also specify notes here. We're going to skip that. Uh, the computer was added. We can review the settings here make sure that this is a heartbeat uh, only group. So we're not managing any, managing any agents and we're only pinging, we're not, again, we're not monitoring agents or checking any TCP ports. The next step is we want to make sure that the management console, uh, which is the same host where the heartbeat agent here is running, is able to reach that printer. So we'll right click, select customize computers, right click here again and select check all hosts. Event Center will now determine which SNMP version that remote host supports and display any sort of errors if there are any. In this case, everything is okay. It was able to ping the computer, uh, the host, the printer. It determined that version 1 of SNMP is supported. And we also get a system information string to make sure we're dealing with the right device here. It worked uh, without authentication because that computer, that printer, uh, is set to use the public SNMP community, which is also the default that Event Center uses when you do not specify any custom, um, when you don't specify any custom authentication. So now that the computer here is added and being monitored, we want to make sure uh, we want to actually uh, tell it to monitor the toner level. We have some pre-existing packages for that and we'll import those packages here by clicking on the packages node and clicking on the import button. Event Center is confirming us, asking us to save and we have a package here that we're going to import and it's called a ES package health SNMP. So I'm going to open this package and we can see here that there's two system health packages available. We'll check the HP printers in this case and click import now. This package, by the way, should work with uh, non-HP printers as well. The package was imported, and since it was a system health package, it will show up here under system health. And if we expand this a little bit, we'll see that we have a performance monitoring package, an uh, object inside this HP printers package with one counter called tone level. You'll also notice that the package here is uh, light gray, meaning it's not assigned to any computer or group. And we're going to change that by clicking the Assign button. And we're going to assign it to this color laser printer and click OK. And we'll notice that the color changes right away. Before we save the configuration and have the heartbeat agent go out and collect the toner level, we're going to uh, customize and tweak the settings here and also make sure this counter actually works as an MP counter. So we'll double click here and we'll notice uh, we have a counter uh, OID specified here, already preset, and we want to test this. So in order to test this, we're going to click the test button, which um, asks us to enter, specify a host name to test this against, and we're going to pick the color laser printer. I'm going to wait now to see if Event Sentry can uh, retrieve information. Depending on the version of SNMP that's supported, this may take a little while. So here we have the string, and we already have some information here. It says that the color laser to printer, the first instance here, is the black cartridge uh, with uh, 91%. If you click instances here, we'll notice here that the uh, since the uh, cartridges are uh, returned in a table, uh, as there are more than as there can be more than one cartridge, now we can specify the instance right here in this dialog. So we can retrieve the inst instance names such as black cartridge HP, for example. So we'll click OK here. Um, the data is collected every minute. We're going to change that to um, 30 seconds just for testing purposes. We're not going to enable any alerts, even though you could technically get an alert if the toner cartridge is less than 10, 5%. And we're going to record the data in the database and we're going to change this 
to every minute as we're testing this. We'll click OK. So we've have the package tested. We know that this counter works against this printer. We've got the package assigned. And we have the computer added, so we're all set. So all we'd need to do now is hit the Save button and look at the event viewer and make sure that our computer here is being monitored. The first event we want to look for, we want to focus on heartbeat events here. We can filter this with, our, with the event viewer down to event century. Do heartbeat monitoring and hit the apply button. You can see here that the printer was already added and is being monitored. So um, the heartbeat agent also logged that the configuration update that we had just uh, done, it has been applied. So now it's time to look at the web reports. Performance information is available in in three different sections. We're going to look at the um, the tabular the, uh, section first and we're going to look at history here and performance. And we'll notice that the computer that's been collecting information here is already present. We were collecting a bunch of system information here in that host. Um, the printer is not showing up yet and that's because it, uh, we've configured it to write to the database every every minute and it hasn't been a minute yet so it's going to take a few more seconds before that computer will show up. And there it is. Uh, it's showed up with four entries, one for every cartridge. We switch to the detailed view and we can see the data has been returned. We've got the computer here, make this a bit bigger, the toner level, and here we have all the different instances and their uh, current levels. Uh, this information is also available as a stat in the performance status page, where we can, where it looks very similar except that is the current status, there's no historical information here. We can also look at it from the, tr the trends dialog. So here, of course, there's no there's no change. Here we only have one data point, uh, but we can look at that. But this is just to illustrate that we can look at this information in, in three different ways. You can also add a tile um, to the to the dashboard to see the performance information there. But that's all it takes to monitor an SNMP counter on a network device. So to add more uh, printer information you can, you, can, you can navigate here, add more counters here, or just create new packages with different SNMP counters and assign them to other hosts that you added to the heartbeat group or any other group. Thank you for watching.